Welcome to another installment of Mackay's technical video series. In this edition, we will be giving an introduction to seawater air conditioning, or SWAC. What is seawater air conditioning? Seawater air conditioning, or SWAC for short, involves using a naturally occurring deep cold water reservoir for air conditioning. As you can see in this movie, cold water is drawn from a lake or ocean through a deep water intake pipe to a cooling station where it goes through a heat exchanger and absorbs heat transferred from the buildings by way of a chilled freshwater loop. The warmer ocean or lake water is then discharged back into the ocean or lake, usually at a shallower depth. Do SWAC systems only work with seawater? There are different terms associated with this process of using a natural reservoir of water for cooling. For example, you may have heard of such terms as seawater district cooling, deep lake water cooling, or lake source cooling. For the purpose of this video, we will consider SWAC to encompass all of these terms. Please just keep in mind that when we say SWAC, we mean a cooling system that uses either a lake or an ocean as its source. How does SWAC save so much electricity on cooling? Conventional AC systems use a type of heat pump, commonly called a chiller, to drive heat from a building to its surroundings that are at a higher temperature. This requires a large input of electricity. SWAC systems transfer the heat from the building directly to a cold water supply that is at a lower temperature than the building. This process occurs naturally, consuming energy only for water pumping, which can be accomplished very efficiently and eliminates the chiller system entirely. How can a SWAC system be integrated into an existing facility? What about corrosion from salt water? A SWAC system can be installed in a new or existing facility. For installation in an existing facility, the chiller is replaced with a heat exchanger, cold seawater pump, and cold seawater supply pipeline. If the buildings have an existing chilled freshwater loop, it can be used in the new SWAC system. As you can see from this picture, no seawater enters the main building, so there is no concern for corrosion. What are the main components involved in a SWAC system? Cold water supply and return pipes. The cold water supply pipe is the most critical component and the primary cost driver. Pump and heat exchanger systems. The only electrical component in the system is the pump. Heat exchangers allow heat from the buildings to be transferred to the cold water and ensure that the fresh and seawater do not mix. This transfer of heat is spontaneous and natural and requires no input of electricity. Why would I choose a SWAC system over a conventional AC system? SWAC can have several advantages over a conventional AC system, including long-term savings on operational costs, SWAC customers report very low maintenance and electrical bills, lowered up to 85% when compared with conventional AC systems. Future costs are nearly independent of energy price volatility, SWAC customers are insulated from rising energy prices because the system requires very little electricity compared with a conventional AC system. Short economic payback period and then return on investment. The initial capital expenditure for a good SWAC system can often be recouped in 5 to 10 years. Savings beyond the payback period become a return on the investment. Harnessing a predictable, stable, renewable energy. SWAC users have reduced fuel needs reduce CO2 emissions, and potentially improve the LEED certification status of their buildings. The cooling source itself is inexhaustible, predictable, and free. Who can benefit from SWAC? SWAC systems typically benefit large buildings or facilities with large cooling loads. These generally include data centers, district cooling projects, hotels and resorts, government or military facilities, large office or commercial buildings, shopping malls and department stores, industrial and manufacturing facilities, power plants, and universities. What factors make a site a good candidate for a SWAC system? Here is the list of questions to ask yourself about your site that will inform you whether a SWAC system is a good fit. Does your facility have good access to deep cold water, close proximity to shore and a small distribution network, large size or large cooling loads greater than a thousand tons or 3500 kilowatts, high cooling usage throughout the year, or high electrical rates. Not all of these factors need to be favorable to have a good SWAC system, but the more you answered yes to these questions, the better off you'll be. Where have SWAC systems been successfully implemented? Mackay has been the world leader in engineering the deep water pipelines for SWAC systems since the first successful installation in 1986. 
This is a list of SWAC projects around the world that Makaya has worked on, either as a sub or prime contractor. Kona, Hawaii, at the Natural Energy Lab of Hawaii, 30 to 50 tons in 1986. Cornell University, Ithaca, New York, 20,000 tons in 1999. Toronto, Canada, 58,000 tons in 2001. Bora Bora, French Polynesia, 450 tons in 2006. Honolulu, Hawaii, 17,000 tons, which is currently being developed. And Curaçao in the Caribbean, 3,000 tons, also currently under development. How can I determine if my site might be a good location for SWAC? A feasibility study is the best starting point in a SWAC evaluation. This will provide a quick look at the cost-benefit analysis for your particular site. Such a study will include a comparison of a SWAC system versus a conventional AC system. More detailed engineering and design work will be initiated by this first step if conditions look favorable for SWAC development. To correspond directly with one of our engineers about your facility's potential for a SWAC system, please email swac at makai.com or visit www.makai.com for more information. Thanks for listening.